Oh, nah. It looks like Cupid has left the courtroom at Judge Mathis' home. According to court documents obtained by E! News and Today, the wife to the ex-drug addict, tell it like it is, reality TV, Judge Judge Mathis has filed for divorce on Thursday. The two married in 1985 and have four adult children, Jade, who's 39, Kamara, who's 36, Greg Jr., 35, and Amir, who's 34. They have lovingly embraced their openly gay son, Greg Mathis Jr., who is married to his partner now, but he came out to his parents on the reality show, Mathis Family Matters. The show ran for one season in 2022, holding an 8.1 rating out of 10, which isn't bad at all. The pair, the pair who live in Los Angeles and have been married for 39 years, allegedly began having turmoil in their marriage when the reality TV judge left on a business flight and was gone for three weeks, According to Judge Mathis, who, when um, TMZ caught up with him in an airport, flying out yet again, while simultaneously claiming that he wants to get his wife back. Let's take a listen. I have to show her that, though. Um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before, and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. Hey, Judge Mathis, how are you today, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I want to ask... I'm not good, rather. It's the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to ask you, you know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man. Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other men. Cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. You see how I'm here at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third. Serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your life. So I do want to ask, you know, the date of separation is listed back in July 17th. Mm -hmm. Has this been coming for some time now or was it something out the blue? Well, ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and being making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road. Yeah doing the same thing and uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city. But it was, I was gone for three weeks. That's mm -hmm. what July 17th meant. Would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship or? Oh yeah, we're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try, I have to show her that though. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm going to get my wife back. How about okay, that? Absolutely. I just wanted to eliminate all the rumors, too, that it's something about a baby or even me uh, molesting a child. It's none of that. I've just told you what it is. There were also, you know, kind of some rumors of any infidelity. Did you want to clear that up at all? You say it's solely neglect. Well, neglect uh, can create suspicion, certainly. And if you're gone as much as I am, you have every right to suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serving the community around the country, then you go with your guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events with, except without your wife hanging with you and enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there was none of that going on. That's not the purpose. That's not the reason for this.